Oh, cheers to Stu for the earlier races. I'll kick off with the Punchestown Gold Cup and a massive field for this. What more runners in this than we had in the Grand National last week, which is quite incredible. A three mile one furlong grade one with 27 of them in it. And Bag of Tricks is at the top for Stu Gray. Basil Brush for Matt Cooper. Bring Me Luck, Graham Clutterbuck, Brooklyn Jean, Alex Cherry, Shensiera Dynamic, Vinnie Gerard, Club of Dinge, Padraig Hogan, Full Scream Ahead, Stu Gray, Look Sharp, Martin Leedham, Lucky Jack, Padraig Hogan, Murdoch Garfield, Matt Cooper, Pompey Millennium, Vinnie Gerard, The Devastator, Joshua Sutherland, Tower Hamlet, Graham Clutterbuck, Woodlands, Leon Van Rensburg, World Party, David Hooley, Devil's Harmony, Darren Thompson, Dragons Cry, Leon Van Rensburg, Galway Dancing, David Robertson, Hamily, Darren Thompson, Music World, David Hooley, Nightclub of Craig Beckwith, Ninochka Stop, David Robertson, Shatara, John Morgan, The Shepherd, Joshua Sutherland, Velvet Curtain, Martin Leadham, Vermont, Alex Cherry, and Vintage Cherub, Craig Beckwith. I'm guessing there aren't many three mile races this week, <laughs> and they're away and racing. I know some of these have been knocking about in the Hunters, so they're really taking a step up into grade one company so they're heading towards the first of 16 fences that they will take so only 16 fences in in a three mile race so not a great deal of jumping to be done that might suit some of them and it's the devastator who's in the lead with shatara and velvet curtain all three of them are regular front runners and so too is the fourth place towards basil brush well he's been knocking around in the hunters in the last few weeks so whether he'll have the pace to lead this lot i'm not really sure tower hamlets is wide on the track look sharps after that and then Dragons Cry looking to the back. It's the Vinnie Gerard pair at the back, as you'd expect. He likes his horses to call the late rattle. And they're out the back at the moment. Chenchi Aerodynamic. And Pompeii Millennium. Vermont also towards the rear. So getting to the third then. And the Devastator has uh, gone over that one. And we lost one at the back there. Music World's gone. So sort of David Hooley's head. Well, he's got another one in there. Too many in there to check, to be honest. I'm not sure that he has. But it's the Devastator who's in the lead by about a length and a half to Shatara in second. And Battle Brush has moved through into third from Velvet Curtain and Dragon's Cry as so they get to the fourth. Now there's another one down there. Club of Dinger's gone this time. That's Padraig Hogan's lost one of his. And he's still got Lucky Jack. In the race, in fact, David Hooley's still got World Party. I'll just notice as they get over that ditch, and I think they all got over that one okay. With the Devastator setting a what would seem to be a devastating sort of pace, Shatara is in second. That one usually leads and can't get to the front. Neither can Velvet Curtain or Basil Brush, who both normally lead as well. Dragons cries after that one, and then Look Sharp Tower Hamlets. Next, then Brooklyn Jean and Haberley. Then comes Lucky Jack and Full Scream Ahead. The Shepherd is next. Then Night Clubber. And also, surely deserves a big race win as they get to the sixth. And they all stream over that one. They're getting pretty strung out. Vermont is quite away off the lead in last place. But it's the Devastator who's got the lead. Velvet Curtain is just about second from Dragon's Cry and Shatara. Then Basil Brush looks sharp and Tower Hamlets as they pass the winning post. Then with a complete circuit of the track to go, and the Devastator is in the lead by two and a half lengths to three. From Dragon's Cry is now pulled through into second. Velvet Curtain is third as they come into the next, and Shatara has gone there. Uh, Shatara, one of the leading group, is out. The Devastator is continuing to lead. From Dragon's Cry second, Basil Brush on the inside is now third. And then Velvet Curtain is just hidden from view as they get over the next. Velvet Curtain jump back up into third there. With Tower Hamlets on the outside. Those four, the group of four are clear. The rest of them are headed by Look Sharp and Brooklyn Jean. The Devastator continues to lead by two or three in defence number nine. Now uh, that time one of... Alex Cherries was down on his nose. That was Brooklyn Jean. But it's still the Devastator coming into this ditch, clear in front. The rest of them stream over it with Dragon's Cry second, Basil Brush in third, Tower Hamlet's fall, then Velvet Curtain looks sharp, and Abelie's after that one. Then Full Scream ahead, that one's making some good progress. Lucky Jack is next, then Brooklyn Jean and Bring Me Luck. Nightclubber is taking closer order this week rather than sitting right out the back Vermont is still the back marker 
racing into number 11 and the Devastator leads over it from Dragon's Cry over it in second, Velvet Curtain over in third, Basil Brush and Tower Hamlets next, then Look Sharp and Lucky Jack starting to get into it Full Scream ahead is still making ground, so too is Nightclub out and Woodlands isn't that far away either as they head down to the 12th well inside the final mile now and over the 12th it's the Devastator who continues to lead. Velvet Curtain just poked ahead into second. Dragon's Cry is third. Tower Hamlet's then Lucky Sharp and Basil Brush as they get over the next. And the lead of the Devastator continuing to show the way home on Dragon's Cry in second. Then Velvet Curtain is third. Basil Brush is running a massive race in fourth, then comes Look Sharp, Tower Hamlet is next, full scream ahead, Nightclubber and Bring Me Look, Lucky Jack and Hubbley, the field are beginning to close in on these leaders as a group of about 10 or 12 of them have gone clear, the one that's trying to chase at the back is Devil's Harmony, but they're over a third last in there, and suddenly it's the Devastator being pressed by Dragon's Cry, Dragon's Cry's come to challenge, right over on the far side, Lucky Jack's moved through into third, here comes the Shepherd with a run, Look Sharp is there as well, this is the second last of the final ditch, and over it they go and it's just about Dragon's Cry in front. Murdoch Garfield was a faller out the back. It's Dragon's Cry who's hit the front from the Devastator and the Shepherd Nightclubber. He's running wide round the outside giving away a bit of ground. Then Lucky Jack Hubbley's after that one. Lucky Sharp looks held but it's now Dragon's Cry who's got the lead from the Sutherland pair as they race down towards the final fence. Dragon's Cry's in the lead from the Shepherd in second. The Devastator in third. Nightclubber wide on the track. He's still making ground. Devil's Harmony and also World Party finishing more so too's happily over the final fence they go and nightclub has got to the front it's nightclub who's in the lead there's a furlong left to go and nightclub is in front from the devastator in second devil's harmony's moved through to third but nightclub is going to get his win i think they race up towards the line and nightclub who's been unlucky in recent weeks gets a big race when he deserves the devastator held in second devil's harmony third happily fourth and the shepherd dragons try and bring me luck after that one all the way back to bag of tricks it was the last one to finish and it all went right for Nightclubber today after all the bad luck of recent weeks and takes that one in pretty good fashion so the Nightclubber wins it for Craig Beck with the Devastator was second for Joshua Sutherland and the card comes back I'll tell you the rest of the placings uh, third was Devil's Harmony for Darren Thompson the Shepherd was fourth for Joshua Sutherland and Haberley was fifth for Darren Thompson again.